Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Laughter. Got another video for you guys today. Today we have this uh, liquid damaged A2337. That's the M1 2020 MacBook Air. And we have it obviously in here for repair for that liquid damage. Um, I did open it at least just to, just to take a look. Obviously, when you open it, you see that nice little chunk here. Let's get the back cover off. That's the screws. Keep that handy. But we see that there's a nice chunk of green here. Aqua, whatever you want to call it, sea green. And it impacted this area close to where the USB-C is. And it also looks like it may have impacted also the LCD. So let's go under a microscope. We can take a look at it a little bit better. Actually, a little bit better, a lot better, so you guys can see it better. I can see it pretty good, but obviously to work on it to do something, we want to make sure that uh, we do this properly. So let's do that. Let's go under a microscope and take a look. See that nice little chunk close to where the USB-C connection is? It's right here. And speak of the devil, look at that. Ooh, it's all nasty in there. Definitely can't be using that again. Let's take this up real quick. There's a shield that you see got a bit on the shield. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that real quick. And let's look under there. Hopefully that didn't get a damage as well. Let's do that. So we'll lift this up. So you any damage? Oh, it's clean. Look at that. Look how clean it is. So looks like that the, the casing did its job. The little shielding did its job there. I bet if we go under here, we'll take a look at that. But we'll have to remove the board ready to get there. Now, another big area of concern is also in the top area. You see even the Wi-Fi uh, area kind of got a little bit damaged there. And um, the Wi-Fi connection area. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, see the Wi-Fi got a little bit impacted there. That's usually pretty good because it's more of a shielding there. And it's uh, it's really just an antenna. So it might be actually be okay. But we want to take a look at the, where the LCD connection is. That's where this is. That's where I lifted this up. And the connection itself looks to be a little bit. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit more. And see what we got. Uh, and we can see some of the pins actually do look a little bit damaged there, a little bit of corrosion action going on there. That can make uh, sure, especially if there is a lot of liquid damage around this area, maybe that the screen has actually been impacted or the screen short. Sometimes, even when you do a repair on this, if, especially if you connect this in, even with this amount of damage, it can short the screen, or maybe it already has. Maybe that's why it's not turning on. So, if we, we'll take a look at the, the board uh, connection here and see if there's anything here. Let's see. Yeah, see this is a little bit corroded too. So this was plugged in while it, it was uh, with the liquid damage. And you can see a little bit there on the side. It doesn't look too terrible. Maybe we could just do a little bit of cleaning make sure at least the board um, LCD connection is fine. But obviously we're going to have to take a look. Let's open this up. I'll probably take a little deeper look and see what's going on. Okay, so here's the USB-C ports. You can see they're really bad. This one's easily removable. So it's not really much of a problem. But let's take a look on both sides here. That one doesn't look too bad, but this one looks really bad. The trace line damage there. There's no way we're going to put that back. We'll just replace them. Same with over here, too. All right, let's check out the rest of the board. See what else we got. Anything else under? So here's on the other side of where those USB ports are. Very clean, which is good. All right, doesn't look bad at all. This would be a problem if it impacted this area. Let's keep going, just to see if there's anything else. Let's go more towards the top of it. Sometimes uh, if, the, if liquid spill or liquid damage hits the top part, um, it can impact sometimes the camera there, it can short that camera. And we've seen some of this area actually get a little bit damaged here before, like on previous models of this one. Uh, it doesn't look like it's really the case. The board actually looks really clean. I don't really see anything else there on the board, but it's always good just to do a visual inspection just to make sure. So we know our main areas, and we're going to be focusing on the area here because we see there's some damage. Now, if we look close, it uh, looks like is this, uh, this component is actually a little bit corroded there. Up there. See, it's almost covered. It's like under the ocean, but it's trying to live. It's sticking out there, like going, <gasps> needs to breathe a little bit. A little bit just more of this area, but that seems to really be about it for the damage. Obviously, um, the problem is, and the scary one is going to be the LCD connection. Uh, this because this one most likely needs an LCD, especially if there's uh, any type of liquid damage there. Uh, we'll see. We'll double check it. But um, sometimes the LCD can be shorted. We can run it on an external C, but we don't want to damage the board in the meantime or do a fix, and then there's still damage to it. So 
Uh, usually if, that, if it's that heavy with liquid damage, especially how close it is, it's usually easy to call that this one most likely is going to need a screen replacement for it. Because if you look the whole around the whole edge of it, it just is soaked. And um, there's a backlight circuit. There's uh, The cables actually stick on the outside here, um, where the cables are, right? They stick on the outside of the of the MacBook as well. So it's very easy for water and stuff to get in there or for it to be scratched or cut. Very easy for that. So liquid well, obviously has no problems getting in cracks in little areas there too. So most likely that's a problem. So let's go ahead and fix it to see what we can do. All right, so we're going to clean up this area. We'll use some alcohol and a Q-tip. Nice way to wipe it down. Now you see, even though there's no components at this little area here, uh, we still want to make sure that we can clean it, make sure there's no short, make sure there's no corrosion liquid touching that because they actually do something. And we are going to use some solder and uh, use some flux and recreate the pads as best we can. It's really damaged, so it's going to be hard to make it absolutely perfect. But um, obviously, as long as there's no corrosion, it should be OK. And we're also going to be touching up uh, this component here at the bottom, touching up each side with a little bit of solder and iron. But it looks a little bit too damaged, especially on that right side. So the right side usually must, must be some type of power area. So we can see the left side is actually ground. If we look at the right side, it's PV bus 3v3s2 VIN. So we're going to make sure that we just remove that. And we're going to go put in another one. But look at the damage to it there on each side. Mm. So let's go ahead and replace it. We need to recreate the pads because the pad on the right side is a little bit too damaged. Uh, left one's probably most likely a ground. And we're going to create as best we really can. And you see, it looks a lot better. We're going to go ahead and at least get enough to touch it on there and make sure the pad's good. There's not going to be anything interfering with um, the connection. Which it looks good. And let's go ahead and test it. So we did see that the LCD actually did short and we actually had to get a replacement for it. So we're going to go ahead and test that. We also did work on that connection as well uh, on the main board there itself um, because that's really important. And we were able to at least fix that. that part was actually okay but the LCD was, was just bad so obviously when you see that amount of liquid damage um, especially around the Wi-Fi area the connection especially if it's touched before most likely it was on working uh, you know the customer was using it probably for a while until it shut off and then obviously the screen shut off maybe something else happened who really knows okay so we fixed the connection here the LCD connection a little bit more and uh, let's go ahead and try it See if it comes up. We'll plug it in. So looks like we're getting a voltage. Okay, and we get a display. We get a display. Apple logo looks good. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on repairing the A2337 2020 MacBook Air. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. You can see lots of damage to it. We we're able to do a fix for it. So, always happy to see that. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.